Lightroom tip, yeah. All right. I've got a Lightroom tip for sharpening. So this is a sharpening tip for Lightroom users. You can also use this in camera raw if that is the case, if you're using it. So sharpening is done in the detail panel. Now, right here, you might wonder, well, why don't, well, that's unfortunate there, her nostril. Just move that out of the way. Whoa, that's <laughs> well, you got to the other one. That's, yeah, bad. All right. So um, you might wonder, why isn't it just called the sharpening panel? Because then you'd know what it does. All right. Because well, they had so, to throw noise reduction in. There. Right. So here's what we're going to do, folks. All right. What we're going to do is this. So when we are sharpening basically women and children primarily uh, is when we worry about doing sharpening better because nobody cares about men. If it's a picture of a guy. We just sharpen the crap out of it. Their skin looks all rugged. It looks cool. And you move on. But with women, we don't want to accentuate or with children. You don't want you don't want to see some That's little right. kid with uh, all these imperfections, and yeah. weird stuff, you know. Right? So what happens is when you apply sharpening to women's skin, it starts to look gritty and stuff. So what we've done for many many years in Photoshop was we would go to Photoshop. See, we're going to do this in Lightroom, but we used to have used to have to go to Photoshop. Yep. Duplicate the layer, apply a ton of sharpening, and then take the paintbrush and mask out all the skin. So all that was left was the hair, the eyebrows, the eyes, the nostrils, the lips, and the sides, the edges of the face. It took for flipping ever, but we had to do it. Believe it or not, Lightroom has a feature that will do all of that for you automatically on a slider, and it's brilliant. So here's how it works. So go to the detail panel, and I'm gonna crank the sharpening way up. So let's, let's zoom in, and I'm just gonna crank the sharpening way up just so you can see. Let's just crank it up so you can see. Look, yeah, her skin's getting getting really look at that yeah right everything you don't out. want that right now this no. is i've way exaggerated the uh, sharpening you would never put this much sharpening not even probably on a guy it's really bad all right but it's this slider right here that i want to bring your attention to called masking so here's how you use the masking filter you hold the option key if you're on mac or the alt key if you're on windows right you hold that key down, and when you click on the masking slider, watch what happens. The entire screen turns white. So let me back off so you can see this a little better. The entire screen turns white. What that's telling you is, is that sharpening is being applied everywhere to the entire photo. As you drag to the right, parts of the image start to turn black. Anything that turns black is no longer having any sharpening applied to it whatsoever. So when you drag it way over like this, none of the skin, not on her hands, not on her face, not on her ears, none of it's being sharpened. The only areas that are being sharpened are the detail areas, like her hair, her eyebrows, her eyes. This took, took us yeah. 20 minutes of photo in in Photoshop, and now it's just drag a slider in Lightroom. And I'm going to zoom way in. I left that amount of sharpening. Look, her skin's perfect. It's soft and fantastic because of that slider. Otherwise, you would have that. But this way, the eye stays sharp, and the eyelashes are deadly sharp and all that, but you don't have any of that bad stuff that comes right. with 